promised, um, we're going to do this installation. We can't completely commission it, but we can get it up and running and then have to get a local electrician to give it the rubber stamp because we don't have a license in Holland. However, um, as a qualified electrical engineer, certainly can install it. And then later on, I get somebody just to double check it and make sure everything complies. So let me show you. We, we're going to have to. We've got we've got three batteries mounted already. So we're going to have to mount the other battery. Um, one of the things you're going to have to be aware. We need to put. A, we're going to have to put a trunk in. We're going to have to put Eric. We're going to have to put a trunk in here with a cable run, um, and you have a enough gap. So you're going to have to move these inverters across here. So you need to get some space out. I suggest you're going to have to unbolt them move them um, to the edge, it's going to give you the space there, and move this one to the edge, unfortunately, um, so you get some clearance. What we're going to have to get is a, a trunking, like a, a, a metal or a plastic trunking. Uh, we need a piece here, a piece here, and a piece there, all put together. Okay, yeah. so we need to do that. Um, so that's obviously for the mains cap. We'll, don't worry about the fuse and stuff, we'll sort that out tomorrow. The other thing is, is the battery. We've got two um, battery isolators here. So I'm suggesting we mount the battery isolators on here, on the bottom. So these are the battery, these are the battery isolators. We put one here, one here. Um, you know the runs for the batteries. So you've got the short cables to connect the batteries together. And then we take one, one of the, the cable from here into the isolator. And we run the foot, we terminate it here. So what you're going to have is you're going to have a, a cable, one of these cables, have you got with the lug? 35. Okay, so one of the cable, yeah, we've got the cable. So without, not this one, these have got, these have got amphenol connectors. The amphenol connectors, these are actually used for joining the batteries together. So the, the, the longer ones are joining on the top to the bottom. So that's, that's easy to do. So, no, 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 we've just got a normal cable. I think it's about one on Yeah, right. So what we're going to have to do is, um, we're going to run from here. You'll take it through your, you've got your trunking, you'll take it through your trunking here, and into the bottom one here, times two. So the first thing you need to do is move the inverters in because we haven't got enough space. Yeah. Put the trunking in, and then we do the cables. This is a very unusual installation um, because we've got two inverters, and they're not actually operating in parallel. So one is a charger, and one is charging the batteries, one is discharging the batteries, because we're actually converting it from a single phase to a three phase. So we've got a three phase inverter here, single phase here. So the batteries, well, it doesn't matter how, we're not going to use a common buzz bar because we don't need to um, because the inverters are operating for a different function. So the AC will come in from the, from, the small, from the small feed into this one and then it will connect here and it will feed back into the batteries to charge the batteries. The shorter cable is on this one which is discharging the batteries. So we've got the, the actual cable for this one is shorter. So it's directly connected to the batteries here. It's much shorter. This one's a little bit longer. So it doesn't quite matter the longer, the shorter one, because obviously it's going to carry the heavy current. This one is, 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 the, is the lighter one, which is the, which is only actually delivering it's, it's at the most, I think it's 15 amps or 10 amps or something from, at AC. So I'm going to leave you guys, um, I've got to, I've got to, going to shoot um, <laughs> these guys here um, you could, you, from ARL Energy. Um, I'm actually going to do the installation, um, not me. I'm just going to give them some guidance. So. Um, there's quite a bit of heavy lifting, especially the batteries and moving the inverter. So I hope you you guys are strong because <laughs> I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Um, so any, you you all okay? Yeah, 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 fine. yeah. Okay. So tomorrow we'll look at the wiring. So you're gonna put the so basically move the inverters. Eric's gonna get some capping, some some trunking. We'll mount all of that in. You're gonna mount the isolators and you're gonna wire into the. So you're gonna have the cable from here. You're gonna have to look at the termination of the isolators. So he's actually got a lot more looks, he's much more cable than this. Yeah, cool. um, so there's a lot, a lot to do. Okay, okay. see you later.